College Success Arizona presents student stories. The feature of the following story and interview is Karina Garcia. I was born and raised in Phoenix, Arizona, out like in the in the west side. I went to Carl Hayden High School. I graduated in 2012 from there, and then I decided to go to ASU, the downtown campus, for nursing. So my major is nursing, and so far it's been four years, and then I graduate in May. You're going to be a registered nurse? Uh, yeah, I'm getting my Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. And what do you want to do as a nurse specifically? Do you want to work in an ER or a doctor's office? I haven't found an area that I see myself in, like an area that I love yet, but so far I think I like working with patients who are like getting out of surgery. They call it a med surgical floor. So you take care of like their incision sites, any dressing changes that they need, um, and basically wait until they're ready to go home and give them the supplies they need to go home, like medications, antibiotics, things like that. And I think I like that area as of now because I'm doing a student nurse externship at the Phoenix VA. That's on 7th Street in Indian School. That was an opportunity I was able achieved through school. They told me about it. It's usually a summer program. So I did it over the summer last summer. It was from June all the way to September. And I had to do like full-time hours, 40 hours a week. And the catch was that you had to complete 400 hours. And so I did that while during the summer. So I worked and it's a paid externship. So I definitely like that. And then they ended up liking how I work and everything, so they offered me another 400 hours with the agreement that I wouldn't have to work, like, full-time because I would be going back to school. So, so far, I work kind of, like, part-time. I make my own schedule. I go whenever I can, and I have to complete the 400 hours. Or if graduation comes before that, then I only complete however many hours I got up until graduation. And you're how old currently? 21. So you're going to have your bachelor's of nursing and then be a full-on nurse by being your 21. Yes, that's correct. So obviously you're good, you're okay with the sight of blood. <laughs> yeah, yes, I am. Now, being a nurse, was that a lifelong dream or passion or goal of yours? Um, in, initially, throughout high school, I thought I wanted to be like a pediatrician or some sort of doctor, but I figured, I don't know if I was willing to commit that long to school. So I decided to go more towards nursing and also I got interested in healthcare because I have a niece that has Down syndrome and she had heart problems ever since she was born. I spent a lot of time in the hospital area, you know, visiting her because she stayed there for months. So I kind of liked what the nurses did, how they cared for her. I always asked questions like, oh, what are you doing or what is this for? Even when I was younger and then I realized that I mean, I like what they were doing, so I thought that I should go into nursing. So I decided to give it a try, and I liked it so far. To recap, you're born, you're raised in Phoenix. You grew up on the west side. You graduated from Carl Hayden Community High School. You go to ASU. You're about to graduate with your bachelor's degree in nursing. Do you have a potential job lined up yet? Um, yes. Yeah, so far, it's looking that I'm able to get a job where I'm doing my nurse externship right now, like in the same unit. The manager there says he would like to hire me, but I would still have to go through the interview process and I would still have other people to compete with. I'm keeping that option open, but I am also applying to a banner facility. The VA, is that where you're working, where you might get a job, the VA hospital? Yes. Working with veterans, does that have a special place with you? Is that kind of a, a special calling? It wasn't initially. I just kind of got assigned to the group who goes and does their clinicals at the Veterans Hospital. But once I started working with the actual population, um, I realized that they have a lot of great stories to tell. They're very receptive like to you working with them. They're, they don't mind students starting an IV on them or anything like that. So they're very open and willing to work with students. So I definitely like that about that population. Somewhere around the time of high school, you became acquainted with College Success Arizona, then went on to earn a scholarship that provided mentoring services as well as $6,000 per year towards educational expenses. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. 
How helpful has that money, the scholarship, been in limiting student debt for you? It's been great. I will be graduating debt-free thanks to College Success Arizona, and I'm very thankful for that. Like, it was able to cover the leftover costs after, like, getting Pell Grants and stuff, so... I definitely appreciate all the help. And the mentors, the success advisors, how helpful has that been in terms of your college experience? They've been great. I think so far I've had like three or four different mentors just because like my first mentor got a new job and they moved. But so far they've been great. The one I got most like close to was I think Angie, Angie Delgadillo. I had her my freshman year. She was definitely all a lot of help with getting me all the resources that I needed my freshman year, which was like tutoring services or where the the writing building was at, where they help you write your essays and things like that. So that was definitely helpful. I think all of my mentors just helped me get in touch with the correct resources that were needed for me. Not too long ago, I went and saw a nurse practitioner for some allergies And during the conversation with her, she told me that she had been an RN for 15 years and got kind of tired of it. So she went back to school, got her master's, and now is a nurse practitioner earning probably twice as much money, maybe more. Is that anywhere in your thought process that at some point you may go and be a a nurse practitioner or physician's assistant? I want to work as a registered nurse for maybe about two years, maybe more if I really like being a bedside nurse. But I do plan on going back to school either for a master's or to become a nurse practitioner. I think I would like something more of like a family practice so that way I'd be able to have like my own like clinic alongside with a doctor. Kind of just be more of a office nurse instead of like a hospital bedside nurse. So I, I would really like to go back to school for a nurse practitioner's degree. Well, and nurses, that's really good money for someone your age coming right out of school. Not all professions, like if you're going to be a teacher or maybe something else, nurses pay pretty well. Like that job pays 25, 30 bucks an hour, something like that. Am I, am I close? Yes, uh, you're correct. <laughs> Definitely be great help for me since I come from like a low income family. You know, my mom's really proud of me. So, and so am I. We all overcome challenges in our lives at different points. What have been the biggest challenges in your life that have gotten you to this point? Probably one of my biggest challenges that I remember was that during high school, I think it was my, I think it was my sophomore year, if I'm correct. My house caught on fire and I lost everything that I had. I was left like with no clothes, no anything no food didn't know where to sleep but thankfully like our insurance company was able to find us somewhere to stay so I ended up like living in a hotel for like a month or two and that was really hard for me I didn't want to go back to school I was like well I don't have clothes what am I going to do but um, the family ended up helping me and my mom so that was really helpful but it was an experience that I think made me stronger as a person and I was able to overcome it and decided you know to to keep going like trying my best at school so I did and I applied for the scholarship later on and then I was able to get the Arizona scholarship. What advice do you have for middle school and high school students who may be considering their own college path? My advice would be um, even if they don't know what fields they're interested in to definitely try your best throughout school get good grades you'll never know like in the long run, how your grades can help you out in applying for scholarships or jobs, anything like that. So I just say do your homework, try your best, and just keep in mind that you can always go to college, even if you want to take some time off or, or not. But it's definitely something to look forward to. And I believe that if you really find something that you're passionate about, college is is easy as long as you like the topic. If you like the topic, you're going to be interested in school, you're going to go to class, you're going to do your homework, and you're going to graduate. Thank you, Karina, for the interview and for working so hard to make a difference in our community.